morning. Hello, thanks everyone for tuning in to my daily blog, which um, is about life on our beef and arable farm here today. Today is, well, it's a pretty sad day really. Last day for Andy. Um, we are planning on having some drinks this evening. Um, although Big Mick can't make it, so we might actually have another leaving do, like a secondary leaving do for Andy when actually everyone can can um, can join in. Um, right, we better get everything fed anyway and uh, see what Andy's up to. My dad's out feeding on the TM, and Andy's up there with fucking ominous in the 6130R. Those lights on. These guys all waiting for their feed. Come on boys, time to get up. Come on. Come on. Then I'll let my dad in here. We got some, I don't know if got some fucking camera lens or what, but it's really starry on those lights, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's muck on the lens. Just cleaned it off a bit. So we'll uh, feed these, then we'll straw them up, make it all like that. Happy days. Andy's done on there, so we're going to load up and start again. We've done this the wrong way around this morning, so my dad's fed him first, and then Andy's going to have to try and battle through uh, these guys that are eating to straw them up. But anyway, whatever. We're there. My dad's just going to put the rest of the feed in here now, get these done. You are lovely, aren't you? Hey, aren't you lovely? You're a big softy, aren't you? Andy's getting this outside yard straw up now. It gets wet and mucky out here. There's no roof over it. Right, I've just took the mixer up the yard, so we'll get on the nine meter. We've got a bit of maize silage to cut out. We've just attached the new shear grab, and we'll go and bite some out. The reason we use this is it gives a clean finish to the face of this silage pit, so there's less places for um, particles of air to get in and start making it go off. We can keep it nice and straight cut and tidy it, uh, it keeps better so when we've bitten it out we then open it up and it slides in it's just starting to wear the paint on the blade which is probably good because it means it'll probably cut a bit better less friction so I'm just putting the barley in the mixer now we're getting everything done pretty quick because we've got a big day of mucking out. So we're going to muck these fellas out here, putting the gate on between the thing. Morning Andy. And um, yeah, then we can get these mucked out. So we've emptied this one so we can get it all mucked out and clean. So they're just taking the gates off now, getting everything prepared because the arable boys are coming for, to book that out. Um, we've got a meeting this morning, so Andy will be doing most of the mucking out and then in a couple of hours we'll sort of um, come back and give him a hand and we can get the other side done and yeah, we should be able to get lots of stuff um, dug out this morning I think, hopefully anyway, because we're going to be a man down next week. <laughs> it's coffee time! So Andy's just tipping off that mix. My dad's in the background. Filling up the 250, I think it is. And we got the 210 on our trailer. Yeah, this is a boost. Very shiny as well. Ralph keeps it um, very nice and clean. And so we should, it's a nice tractor. Not quite sure why my dad's got in parked here though, because it's a very long travel to get 
the monk, green steps. All the way down there. Which is major time consuming. But anyway, I'm sure he has his reasons. Looks like we've got Willie here as well with the big class. Oh, they're all here today and the trail looks quite shiny. I don't know, but Will's, Will's tractor's nowhere near as clean, is it? There must be a reason for that, I'm sure. And he's off with the first load. My dad spilled a bit. And as he goes, we'll get the class back to try clean these windows a bit. Just fetching it in now. So we've got Will filled up now. And he's off in the boost. Very nice. We'll see how Andy's getting on down here. Looks like Ralph's back with a 250. So it looks to be going down in here. I'm guessing Andy will be struggling getting up there. It's a bit of a downhill. Uh, drop into this shed off the concrete there we go so I'm just giving Andy a break from this we'll jump on and get this muck out we've got the class here I think Andy's just gonna start a mix so we're ready for this afternoon I said to Will, I said, how come yours is mucky, Will? And he says, he don't get time to wash his like Ralph. <laughs> Starting somewhere here. Um, I think he's been, I think he's been lifting sugar bean with it. But it looks, it looks cool when it's a bit mucky. Doesn't it? Just staggered dinner, Ben's had his first. Uh, me and Andy will have ours now. Just swap pens. Just had my dinner and I think we'll jump back on the TM. Although, actually, we've got nobody here. Uh, I'll do a bit of cleaning up. Ben, Andy and my dad are just getting some cattle out at the minute. So, um, yeah, I'll take over this job. But in here, we've got all this to get out. There's a fair bit in there. Right, so I think we've got another load just turned up. We've just been doing a few cattle. 250's gone, and the class is coming back in. Right, I think we'll do a little bit of a time lapse here if I, can't, if I don't fall over. gives you a bit of an idea as um, to what we do when we're mucking out I suppose, one load mucked out. Just on now filling Andy, so he's going to be taking a few loads as well. I'm going to shovel this area away. Oh, there we go, all got out anyway, we've got another tractor back so we better keep going with this. The tyre's looking a bit podgy so we're just going to pump it up and see if we can find a leak. Just back on the 210 beast, we've got the tyre repaired, that's all sorted. Yeah, oh yeah, we had leaky tyres, leaky tyres. This is lucky beastie with its daytime running lights on. I think they're daytime. reckon the daytime running lights, Hander? Or are they side, not side lights, huh? Because you haven't got any sides on. Yeah. Cool. We've got the last few buckets of muck to get out of here. Ben's going to fetch in the straw and just knock some of that about while we uh, do a little bit of cleaning up. There we go. Right, Ben's just fetching in a few more bales and he's gonna shift the trailer and we'll get all this outside bit tidied up where we've had the spillages. And we're getting there somewhere then. So that, that there is a testament to the man that Andy is. It's his last day 
on this farm and he's putting 110 percent in as he does every single day here a lot of people are just day off it's the last day what's it matter tomorrow's another day and not really bothered well not Andy no and that's why it's such a shame that he's not going to be working here anymore because yeah one in a million is the lad he is so well, that's a few loose bales chucked out then we'll blow straw in on top of that it should be plenty of insulation for you guys and in they come they start smashing everything about oh yeah you happy he likes it oh i'm starting feeding up um, ben and Andy are just strawing around the back with the teagull and then the sun's setting here in South Yorkshire. I think that's a pretty cool shot with that nice pinky looking sky. Yep, there's just a bit of muck in that trailer. Andy's down there blowing out his last few bales. With that pink sky behind me, it's time to do a mix of entrance. So it's, um, uh, I don't think it's a happy birthday to Charlie Blair, but he just wanted to support the channel and said that we're doing a good job. So thank you very much, Charlie. Appreciate that. Um, Kev and Kayla, Kyla, Kyla, I think I said that right. Um, thank you very much for this. This is really nice. So they've sent in just a good look to Andy in whatever he does, which is really, really nice. And uh, Andy massively appreciates that. So if anybody else wants to make a donation, um, it goes straight to Yorkshire Air Ambulance and they can use it however they like. Then there's a link in the description below and um, it takes you to the Just Giving page. So I don't touch the money, it goes straight to them so they can use it however they see fit to save people's lives in South Yorkshire. Yeah, that sky is nice. So red. It's getting dark now and we're just feeding out into the big shed. Nearly done. Oh, we'll get this pulled in the shed and that is it from us this evening that is about it from us today and his last full day but maybe if people put in the comments that they want him back for an encore tomorrow maybe he'll come in and help me come on my own are you coming in to help me actually right andy Pleasure. Thank you. And we will go out for some drinks. Sometime. So, Sometime. We were supposed to be tonight, right? We were supposed to be going out for drinks tonight. Ben drops out. Mick couldn't make it because he's working. Joe's organisation skills are pretty poor, generally. I am, I am. I can't. I couldn't organise a piss up in a. Probably that's what they're saying, isn't it? Yeah. But um, yeah, we're going to do it. Um, well. Can't yeah, do it yeah. next weekend. Uh, can't do it this weekend. And like, yeah, in January we're going to do it. Yeah. Um, so thanks everyone for watching. If you liked it, remember to press like, subscribe. Um, Andy's got his own channel, Bix. What's Three, it called now? Three Six Five. Bix Three Six Five. So you can catch him on there um, and get his updates on his lodgers, or he can send us some clips and we'll put it into the video. Yeah. Happy days. Yeah. And um, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Bye. Bye.